Good evening, everyone. This is Dr. C. This is my weekly message to you. I'm just about ready to step on stage, and I wanted to give you a little bit of an inspiration of things that I'm going to talk about tonight. And one of them is looking at what does success look like for you? And the question is, what do you want it to look like for you? Isn't that an interesting question? Because many people don't think we're in control of this. And tonight I'm going to be talking about failure and the ability to reinvent ourselves. But part of reinventing ourselves is knowing what we want. And that's sometimes hard when you ask someone who is so used to thinking that they can't get what they want, then when they finally get someone to ask them, they're like, really? So I want you to do a little bit of dreaming this week. I want you to look at, if I gave you a magic wand, what would you want? Because here's something really interesting. Happiness is getting what you want and wanting what you get. Now, isn't that an interesting opportunity is that sometimes we work so hard to get something and then when we get it, we don't want it anymore. But happiness is the ability to say, you know, I've been working really hard and here's what I want to finally be able to do and to be happy and content because life isn't just the journey sometimes. Life is an arrival at a specific place an accomplishment that you've had. But in order to get to that place, you have to have a dream. You have to have a desire. You have to have a want. Because think about, you can't have a dream come true if you don't have a dream. But so many of my students, the world's really beat me up. And trust me, I have been there. I have some epic failures in my life that I'm still recovering from. But I understand when you finally have those golden moments, when you have that you graduated, you can see that I love me while behind me, and you can see the every degree it was a, wow, I did it. And when nobody's looking, you're like, yay me. And so I want you to try and think about what would those celebration moments be? Graduation is an easy one. When you get your undergrad or your master's or certificate or um, your doctorate, my doctoral birthday is actually Saturday, and it's really exciting that I still celebrate it because when you turn for a doctorate, it's the day the ink is dry in the dissertation. You don't have to worry about crossing the stage anymore. It's the day the ink is dry. And I know mine is a little bit of melancholy because I wanted to say I earned my doctorate before I was 40. I missed it by seven days. Because of APA format, let that be a lesson to you all. Apparently the world couldn't stop spinning until I finished all my APA. And now it's kind of a bit of a joke that I missed it seven days beyond my first 40th birthday. But one of my students, one of my first students actually, graduated on my birthday. And so the universe has a wonderful way of balancing and giving us what we want when we need it. And this is where I know some of us feel a little bit out of balance. We feel a little bit out of control. And I want to give you that control back. I want you to be able to think about, well, what do you want? And behind me, I have a dream board. And yes, believe it or not, doxy has got a dream board of being able to look at all of the things that I've wanted in my life and all of the things that I was willing to work for. But part of, remember, we had this lesson last week. You can have just about anything you want in life, but you have to know what are you willing to give up to get it. And sometimes, many of us, the price is a bit too high. Particularly as we get older and our lives getting tight, you know, ingrained with, we have careers and we have families and we have spouses and we have businesses we own and all kinds of things. And then we think, maybe we're too old. Maybe we're beyond where we could start again. And I'm here to tell you, no way, baby. Every time you get the opportunity to reinvent yourself, this is the part where you want to take seriously because life will give you what you want if you ask for it. Give you a, a quick example. I always wanted to stay at the Plaza Hotel, meaning the Plaza in New York. Well, apparently I wasn't specific enough because when I got to New York and went to a, um, I was getting an award and it was very cool. But I stayed at the Crown Plaza Hotel, not the Plaza. So I still have a date with the Plaza. But you got to be specific. A little fine print in there can kind of really jazz things up just a little bit. So be very specific and be very clear. And so when I ask you when you dream, what does your heart want? Can you dream a little with me? I'm a big fan of Cinderella. And one of the ideas that they have for the theme for Disney is a dream is a wish your heart makes. So can I turn you back into dreamers for a little bit? 
Can I turn you back into thinking when life is good? And to be honest, life is always what we make it, even with all the goofy stuff going on right now. So I want you to think about a dream is a wish your heart make. Your heart makes when you're fast asleep is how the line goes. So think about dreaming a little bit this week. For my doctoral students, it might be what happens after graduation? Uh, for those of you who are opening your own business, what happens when the door is open for the first time? What happens when you're on stage for the first time? I know what my dreams are, and I've got a bunch of them. And it's amazing when they've come true, I just start dreaming some more. So think about this this week as my inspiration to you is become a dreamer. Go listen to your music, go listen to your heart, and go make the world an amazing place because the world's waiting for you. And so am I. You got this. See you later. Bye-bye.